amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid! Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Two specials. Two specials coming right up! What's wrong? That hungry? All right then. Well, you're still growing. You can handle at least one bowl of ramen. Because I said I'd treat you. I can't go back on my word. It's bad for my conscience. That's supposed to be a compliment? Here you go! Two specials! Point is, you don't go back on your word. Especially when it comes to something you promised. the noodles to get soggy. I was thinking earlier, you really don't take any shit, even from your elders. I respect straightforwardness. Less trouble that way. Let's finish up and get the hell out of here. Welcome back. Were you together? Hmm? 
Wait, Aragaki. Have you considered returning to school at all? It's been some time since second semester started. Regarding your attendance, it'd be best if you went back as soon as possible. <laughs> I got the paperwork, but I don't remember saying anything about turning it in. What's the point anyhow? I got no business there. Then why... why did you come back here? Apologize. It isn't my place to ask that. Everything is my fault. I shouldn't have gotten you or Akihiko involved. Cut that out. I'm the one who chose to join you back then. However things turn out after that has nothing to do with you. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is to it. Then why are you so determined not to return to school? You'll be throwing your future away if you don't go back. Right. I apologize. I was out of line. I don't plan on forcing you into anything, like I did in the past. What's important is it's your own decision, Aragaki. Looks like you have changed. Just a little bit. You always used to avoid relying on people. Not so much of a lone wolf anymore, huh? The only choice we have is to keep moving forward. That goes for myself, Akihiko, and you. So please, Aragaki, just give it another chance. What are you guys up to? Looks like a pretty serious discussion. Let me guess. Miss President is lecturing the delinquent on the importance of his education. Akihiko! Well, I'll be damned. For a protein-fueled, muscle-bound moron, you're pretty smart. What was that?! See ya, Miss President. This delinquent's gonna go to his room and think about his bad choices. Wait, we're not finished yet. Akihiko, why are you like this? Huh? Dad, uh, what just happened? Was it something I said?
was thinking you might show up, and here you are. Hey, don't get the wrong idea, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Anyway, what's the deal with your hair, kid? Doesn't it get in your eyes? Is that the style nowadays? My son kept his hair long, too. You should cut it. No, better yet, shave it all off. Give the bald look a try. You got a good attitude, kid. You do get what I'm saying, don't you? I'm not talking about fashion here, you know. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. Oh, sure, you're young and good-looking now, but just you wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday you'll be just like me. One day in the future, you'll see your mug in the mirror and think, Damn, I was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, huh? That way you won't ever be disappointed. You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid, so why bother with it now? Bald is beautiful. You just wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. You'll need a hat for the winter, but I say go for it. I'll spot you money for a shave and some clippers if you're short. putting you to sleep? Well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home and rest in your own bed. were there. I 
I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. told you before? I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. Well, about that. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. I think it was at the start of last April. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. But some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Thank you. But don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that. But I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now... I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... Really come to depend on you. And I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. Oh, um, sorry. I'm always going on about my own problems. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but... Somehow, I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. You think so too? I tend to complicate things in my head by overthinking it. But I'll make sure to return the favor for everything you've done for me. Well, I'll see you back at the dorm. to deal with up here. There aren't as many weeds or pests on the roof. No moles or other critters that'll dig our plants up. Still gotta watch out, though. Some hungry asshole might try to help himself do the whole crop. No, you're fine. You're the one growing them, after all. 
Just know when to hold back. Don't end up like a certain other dumbass around here. I mentioned I did a bit of gardening back at the orphanage, right? If someone sneaks a bite, it's no big deal. But this one time, some older kids stole our whole crop. Aki got so pissed when that happened. He went after him all by himself. Even though they're twice as tall as he was. And then again, that's probably not much different from how he is now. He hasn't changed at all. Compare that to these guys. Growing bigger every day. This should be good for today. You can head on back. I'll stay and finish up. You can thank me by helping out again sometime. Inseparable duo. <laughs> yes, you're still a good boy today, too. Oh, my gift is going to get cold. Look, I brought you some takoyaki today. It's Octopia's specialty. Taco-free takoyaki for dogs. There's one for people, too, so enjoy them together, okay? Doesn't look like anyone's reported him missing yet. So, you guys are helping stray dogs now, too? Aren't you spreading yourselves a bit too thin? Settle down now, Koromaru. You haven't changed at all, have you, boy? He's always felt the need to be this town's watchdog. Maybe he got it from the priest. And now that he's with you, he's more righteous than ever, isn't he? Anyway, hang on a minute. No answer. <sighs> Hello, this is Officer Kurosawa from the Tatsumi East Police Station. Well, it was written on the collar. Yes, no one answered, so I called you instead. Yes, that's right. A brown, medium-sized dog. 
I see. All right, I'll see you then. We've managed to identify the owner. However, they're in the hospital after falling to apathy syndrome. Yeah, the owner's family will take the dog in. Cases like this one have been on the rise. Pets are being abandoned because their owners are falling prey to apathy syndrome. And to survive, the pets have no choice but to take to the streets. hear this, but just know that you guys are doing fine. I don't know the whole picture, but that much I'm certain about. Now I'm gonna get back to work now. Watch yourselves on your way home, all right? That teaser was so dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. No way. I've been totally looking forward to this. It's just this kind of thing is way more fun to watch with someone else, you know? And the tension is palpable. That cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The main girl was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. I love that. I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. Good night. <laughs> 